Today, we're gonna to be talking about Zoom breakout rooms. Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you're subscribed to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been uploaded. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please connect with us on our Patreon page. Zoom is a great platform to use to connect with people virtually. And there's an option between Zoom webinar or Zoom meetings. If you're using Zoom meetings, you have the opportunity to use breakout rooms. Breakout rooms are super awesome. It's a great way to get people to network, get people to do team building exercises, and just to have more intimate conversations. So when you look at the bottom toolbar, you'll see that there's a button for breakout rooms. When you click on that, you can then choose to create and you can assign automatically. What the automatic assignment would do is you would choose the number of breakout rooms you wanna have. And then if you actually had participants in the room, this number would change and it would show you how many people would be per room. What that means is if you have a goal of having four people per room, you can add or subtract as many rooms as you need until you see at the bottom here, it says four people per room or four participants per room. If you want to assign manually, perhaps you have a guest list and you know you want to keep people in a particular table, you can then choose assign manually and create. You would then assign each person to the right room. You could then even click on rename and rename the room to super people. <laughs> and so whatever you would want it to be. But keep in mind, if you're doing speed networking, where you're consistently recreating a room, it is going to then change out those names and just make it one, two, three, four, five, and, and, and so forth. And so if you want to rename your room, I would advise that you'd only do it when you're not having uh, a lot of rotation. If you're not putting people into rooms consistently, then you could go in and rename it and make it a little more fun. Another thing I wanna point out are the options. I absolutely love these options. You can allow participants to choose a room. I honestly have never done that and I wouldn't suggest it. You can allow participants to return to the main session at any time. That is important. Many times you, the host, are gonna stay in the main room and someone may have a question for you. And so you wanna have the opportunity for participants to go back to the main room in order to talk to you. Breakout rooms close after X number of minutes. I absolutely love this feature. If I have a schedule and I wanna to stick to my schedule, well then I can go in here and program the amount of time that we have left to allow people to have breakout rooms. And I can also then have it notify me when time is up. That's also a great feature because if you see that you do have extra time on your schedule, you can then let the room stay open rather than forcing everyone back into the main session. Countdown after closing breakout room. This is a countdown that everyone in the breakout rooms will see to let them know you're going to return to the main session. It defaults to 60 seconds. However, one minute is a long time. And I have found that a lot of times people will leave the rooms perhaps a little too soon because they're worried and they see that countdown. And so I typically change that to 10 or 15 seconds. It's enough of a warning to let people know finish up your conversation, you're gonna to go to the main room, but not too much where then people feel worried that they have to click on it and go to the main room. These options have really made breakout rooms a lot simpler for me. And so if you're using Zoom and you wanna have small intimate groups or networking, I highly advise using breakout rooms and going into those options to make your facilitation easier. Speaking of facilitation, if you need assistance with your Zoom meetings, we do provide Zoom facilitation. Please reach out to us for more information about that. And if you just have any questions about this topic, please leave them in the comments below or connect with us. I hope this helps you be more successful in your Zoom meetings by using breakout rooms.